Tommy, cut replay means a familiar foe on Wednesday. What were your thoughts ahead of this one? Well, we're looking forward to the game. We're second bite of the cherry. Um, but it's, uh, well, it's the second, third cup game in a row, actually. Yeah. And so, yeah, we're getting used to these, these cup, cup competitions, which is good. Um, we, we want to try and stay in there. You know, we, everybody knows what the, the draw has brought. So both ourselves and Stockport, I'm sure, want to, want to be going to West Bromwich Albion on uh, January the 6th or 7th. Is it a fair comment to maybe say that the pressure's a bit off of us this time, you know, going into it as the underdogs and, and at their place? Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's a free hit for us. They're, they'll be expected to win, quite rightly. They're favourites, you know, they're from a division above us and they're having a great season themselves. Um, so, you know, we, we, we understand it'll be a tough proposition, but um, we're looking forward to that. We're looking forward to just that. Obviously, getting a draw against them for, to force the replay must have given the lads a bit of confidence. I mean, I know we spoke about it after what I spoke with Rich after the game last time, but the lads obviously know that they can go toe to toe with that team. So, surely going into Wednesday, there is, there is that confidence that we can do it. Yeah, I think there's, a, there's an inner belief in this group that two things really they know what they can do, they, do, they also know the deficiencies, but they've also got something running through them that they just they don't lie down, they won't, you know, they won't be beat easily. Um, and like I said, it's you know it's a it's a game now the club would have really wished or planned for, but having you know drawn with them a week or so ago, um, it's been in, in the distance for us. But we're, now we've we've got the first Eastley game out of the way, we're focus is totally on this. And uh, yeah, I mean you know I fancy us to to go toe to toe with anybody we play, you know, and um, we'd be having a very good go. And going into this one, does it make it a bit easier, perhaps, having seen how they played very recently, obviously, against us? Does that make things a bit easier? Well, we've both seen each other, haven't we? So yeah. there's nothing, nothing there to hide, you know. I thought Dave, when I, I listened to his interview afterwards, got it about right. I thought we edged the first half without mm. coming in leading, and they certainly edged the second half without winning the second half. So, yeah, if it was evenly matched on the day. I'd like to think that we can, you know, we reproduce at least that, that sort, sort of performance. Um, but we, what I do know is we can't have half a performance like we did the other day. You know, we, we can't give a team like Stockport a two-goal lead. We'll talk about Saturday there. Obviously, again, it was a two-goal deficit, but we came back from it. And, you know, it's something we've seen quite a lot of this season now, isn't it? Like that The fight to get back into games where we're staring defeat in the face. You must be really proud of that. I am, but I don't like giving the, the head start. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a really... I said it's a, it's a good trade, but it's not a good habit. Um, we don't want to keep keep doing that but um, yeah you've got to give the group on mass massive pat on the back because I just thought even before the lad was sent off we were starting to find our rhythm and our, our game we had we did a couple of little switches um, which really worked for us and I, you know I think my hand on my heart we, we could have and probably should have won the tie in the first 90 minutes never mind the penalties so I think the right result uh, the right outcome happened eventually but uh, we'd rather while they give it a full shift rather than a half. Well, penalty shootouts are very rare, aren't they? But we've, well, if it does come to it on Wednesday, we've had our practice and a successful one at that. So does that maybe give the lads a bit of confidence that if it does go to penalties, we, we've got that experience now? Well, there isn't, there's nothing like doing it to, to, to have the experience, and it's very recent. But look, that's a long way down the road, and neither of us will want extra time or penalties, trust me. So let's hope one of the teams gets it done in 90 minutes. And one of the positives, um, again, from that game was Ollie Scott came back into things. That, that must be brilliant to have that in, in the Arsenal. Yeah, I thought he did really well when he came on. He just give us that balance that I know comes with the left sider on the left. <clears throat> so obviously he's, he's back into contention in my head. You know, um, I think he's got something to offer for the, to the club. Um, but I was pleased with one or two others who, who didn't start regularly on Saturday. You've got to remember, when people don't start every week, there can be an anxiousness or, a, you know feel like they've got to do better but ultimately I know what each and every individual brings to the party and for the most part I thought everybody did okay on Saturday so we'll see how we go.